Okay, so we have the wheel off. Now we have to take off this hub. We're going to look at the brakes and inspect them. And this non-demountable kind uh, type of, of our front axle, you have to take off the whole hub to look at it. So first we're going to do we take or the drum. We have to take off the drum. We have to take this hub off. And I've loosened these. Got them loose because they they're long and they take a little bit of work to get them off of there. So I've got those all off. Then uh, you have to remove this bolt here. It tightens it and that tightens up like right against the axle itself. So when that's off, there are two access holes and these I had to clean them out. They had all kinds of stuff in them. Many times these do not want to, the hub does not want to come off from the drum and separate. So there's these neat little access holes that if you you can crank them down on there, it'll push the, the hub away from the drum. So sometimes you really have to crank on it, other times it comes right off. So we just tighten those down and you can see it's separating already. And don't even need to tighten that one because it's coming right off of there. So when it gets to a point where it's loose enough, you can just pull that off and expose the axle. So there's the axle right there, or this side axle. You can see there's some nasty grease that's been in there for 70 years or so, and no seal. The other side was the same way. No seal in here, and so it leaks, it usually will leak out. Some of the manuals show a gasket or a seal here between the hub, and others do not. So uh, this one does not have one, uh, so whoever put it together didn't put it on there. So now we've exposed the axle, and then we have to remove these nuts and the, the, the axle nuts and the flange. And you can see on there that whoever has put that on there did not have an axle uh, nut to remove that with. They just use a chisel and they just beat on it to, to tighten it down, which is not the preferred method. So we're probably not going to do that today. Um, if it's usually they're not on there very tight anyway, but you can see the gouges where they just pounded it with a chisel to tighten it down on there. We have an axle nut, so we'll get that and we'll continue on from there. And so we take off the keeper and all that will come out and then the hub will pull right off.